Hey, this is Catherine, owner of Phantom Designs on Instagram. Today I'll be doing a masking tutorial for beginners. Okay, so we're going to start with a picture of JJ Watt. Then we're going to create a copy of the original background layer here because we do not want to damage the original image. Okay, so if we make a change that we want to reverse, we can just take off this layer and still have the original one here. So that is called non-destructive editing. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in our masking step is create a layer mask, and you can do that by clicking this icon right here. And it, see, it creates a white box around here. And you want to make sure this white box has this frame around it for right now. This means that you're working in the white box area, so you're working in the layer mask instead of the image right here. So next what you want to do is find your quick selection tool and it will be under the magic wand tool here. So you can just right click or two finger tap on this and to find your quick selection tool or you could press W on the keyboard. Okay, and so first we have to select all our um, pixels that we do want in this picture layer right here. So I'm going to take my quick selection tool and drag it over what I want. And Photoshop is pretty smart, so it'll get mostly what's in the foreground, okay? And this one doesn't have to be perfect because with the layer mask, you can go in and clean it up later. So once I have a rough selection done, I need to select what I don't want. So since he was the smaller object in this whole picture, I just did that because it's less work for me. And then what I can do is I can inverse the selection to make it select the background. So how I do that? is I go to select inverse and so now if you see it selects all that I don't want so it's going to take that out instead of taking the player out okay so we're going to go edit fill and make sure the content says black and then leave all these settings as they are and click OK and then we can't see anything right now but we will in a second so we can click Command D or Control D if you're on Windows to deselect the background. Then we're going to take this layer off, and then these are called this is called the transparency grid, and so you can see what on this layer is um, missing and what's not. And so right off the bat, I can see I missed this huge chunk right here. So I can zoom in just to his leg right here, and take my paintbrush tool. Make sure all these settings, opacity, and flow are at 100. And uh, make sure my foreground color right here is on white. And so I can just paint back in whatever I missed. Okay, and say I go over the lines a little bit, just like that. Okay, no big deal. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. And then if I want to take things out, I can put my foreground color to black. Okay, and then I just need to paint right us over here. And then if I notice my brush maybe is a little too big, I can either go up here and change the size. And so it's, maybe that's a little bit too work. I don't want to click that menu every single time. I can just use my um, bracket keys on my keyboard to desize. The smaller, I mean, the left bracket goes down and the right bracket, bracket goes up. So just reduce that size a little bit and get in there and... Paint away everything that you do not want. I think this is the best and most effective way to mask a player. There's other ways, but they're destructive. So if I were to go like this, I would have to resample this layer and then put that back in. Instead, I could just paint it back in with the white. So that's why I prefer the layer mask rather than just erasing the background. I decided to do um, a series where I do beginner Photoshop tutorials geared more towards sports than just basic Photoshop tutorials since um, one of my friend's moms she was interested in starting photography and I realized most of my tutorials weren't um, beginner friendly and so I decided to do um, tutorials such as masking and in the future I'll do some things like um, just basic background stuff and brushes and if you have any other suggestions you can leave it in the comments or Write me on my Instagram, you can DM me or leave a comment. I'm sorry I haven't posted as often. I've been focusing on other kinds of editing like um, 
making logos and vectors and all kinds of things. So I'll try to start posting more, but um, just let me know if you have another idea for this series. I'd like to make a good, you know, four or five videos just to have like a, a, a good collection so you can go from watching one video to the next and um, learn all that you need to know. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the edges here and I'll fast forward and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I'm finished with my masking. And so I can just turn on this background layer here and you can see all the parts of the background are cut out. Okay, and what we can do with this is we can put any effect we want in between that. For example, if we want the background to be black and white, we can go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white, click OK, and then there it is. So there we have it. That's it for this tutorial. I will also be making more beginner tutorials like this that will probably be more sports focused. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.